seeking any cosmetic treatment. Well, last night we showed how much of our everyday lives are foreign made and owned. If you didn't like what you saw and you want to do something about it, tonight we show you how to fight back for Australia. So you just know that what you're buying is best for Australia and the economy. The money that they pay stays in the country to create other jobs and, and create other businesses. That's an investment in my kids' future. Fight, Nicky, fight. Australia, if you're sick of living in a foreign-owned and made world, it's time to fight back. In the corner for the Aussie battlers, there's a new generation of online grocers giving our locally owned and made products a fair go. Leading the charge is the website onlyoz.com.au. As you'd imagine, it sells and delivers to the world Australian made and owned products. We love what we do because we're living what we believe in. Former school teacher Katie Hooker and her ex-army husband Howie started Only Oz over three years ago from their house. As the economy has shrunk, ironically, their business has grown. Well, if you want to stimulate the economy, you've got to spend money in Australia on Australian products. OzClean is 100% Australian owned, been operating for 14 years and we employ 25 Aussies. OzClean is one of the many companies supported and stocked by Only Oz. These are the people who make shower power. I think it's incredibly good to see that the Australian public have in, embraced the opportunity for a company to exist on Australian uh, made products. For the past 14 years, Tom Quinn and his family have been making their products and providing Aussie jobs. They're established and well known, but life for an Australian manufacturer is never easy. We just have to be so careful with our money to be able to get in there and support our products. And if you don't support your products and they don't sell, in three months you're gone. Here in the rolling hills of northern New South Wales is another homegrown manufacturer relying on your Aussie dollar. Madura Tea is totally true blue. It's been around for 30 years and employs 50 locals. This is where you can see everything from plant to packet. And this is what an Australian business should look like. And here too, the company's Ray Fine says they fight for every sale. Yes, it's very difficult for us to compete against the multinationals. We um, have to compete against, obviously, cheaper labour overseas. Um, they've got massive advertising budgets, um, and we're flying the little Aussie flag out there. Flying the Aussie flag in their kitchens and laundries are people like Julia Dickinson and Sandy Hoadley. They're both busy mums, passionate about supporting Australia, but also confess buying online through Only Oz saves them the trolley, pram, child juggle in the supermarket. I just don't have time to go down the aisle and pick up something, turn it around, see if it's made in Australia, see where its origin is and put it back on the shelf and go to the next one. Turns up in, on your front door, you don't have to get into the car and drive to the supermarket, find a park, wrestle with children, you know, it's, it's great. If you think there couldn't possibly be enough locally made non-perishables left to do your weekly shop, you're in for a surprise. There they are, just some of our dinky dye companies that need your business. And if you believe the converts, it doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg to fly the flag when shopping. Have you noticed a big difference in price by just buying Australian? Not at all. It's definitely cheaper to buy Australian, actually, because you're paying for the product, not for the delivery of the product. So Australia, if you're sick of seeing all the profits from Vegemite to Victor's, Tui's to Tim Tam's going overseas, the power for change lies in your wallet. I think people need to put their money where their mouth is and um, always buy Australian. I hope I never see the day when we're importing everything into this country. I think it'll be a very sad day and um, I hope it never ever happens. It's worth getting on board and for more details on that story simply visit our website. Still to come on ACA Homes for One Dollar, the country craze stealing people from the city is spreading. Home loan interest rates are at historical lows in Australia, but at the same time personal finance providers have pushed their rates to astronomical levels and they're crippling those who can least afford them. I feel persecuted. 
Absolutely. It doesn't make sense. It's un-Australian, that's what it is. Juggling too many debts? These products are really credit traps. Some Australians have been caught with far too many balls in the air. I have a GE money personal loan at 34.94% interest. So you're paying 34.94% interest? 34.94. Current interest rate is sitting on 29.49%. These are examples of a lender trapping people into debt. It's ridiculous. I can't believe I'm paying that amount. I feel ashamed that I'm actually paying that amount. How did Robert Hilly get saddled with such a crippling rate? OK, the initial loan was for a, a Land Rover Discovery and we went through GE Money because that's, that's what was recommended to us. Um, but I could only get it 24%. So that was very high too. It got higher. The father of two split with his partner and had to sell the car but still owed money on the loan. He went to refinance $6,500, but because of a bad credit rating due to an outstanding Telstra bill and the fact it was an unsecured loan, he was slapped with this. I still owe $5,000 um, and I pay